Off, somebody asks, what's your opinion on Sam Sulek and do y'all have actual beef? All right, so me and Sam do not have beef at all. He uh, he would say the whole like Andrew Eubanks thing. If you look, I think Sam follows like 40 people. I'm one of the people that he follows. So we, I've DM'd him a few times. And then I also talked to his, uh, his little brother. His, his little brother's really big into golf. Um, so no, there's no beef where I would call. He's, he's a very like to himself guy, but yeah, I would call it, call us friends. And I think Sam in the industry never sees someone blow up that fast. And while others might be like envious of that, I think that it is probably one of the best things to happen to the fitness industry. And the reason why is because he's bringing a type of content creation that is so wholesome and not forced that it's almost like a breath of fresh air. And he has a personality that's so relatable to a lot of people where it's helping a lot of people find like kind of comfort in that and also bring a lot of people to the gym, which I'm all for. That clip I just showed you, you have Andrew Eubanks being asked what he thinks about Sam Solik. He has nothing but positive things to say, saying Sam Solik is great for the fitness industry. It's great he's getting people back in the gym. But the next clip I'm about to show you is where I believe Andrew Eubanks started to lose his followers and started to go downhill. The only thing I'm concerned with, I would say, I guess the only somewhat of a drawback is that, and it's not even like Sam's fault, it's he's literally just doing what he loves and, and documents it, is that like a lot of the kids who follow him, which I know a lot of kids who follow me, they can be like kind of manipulated pretty easy to where I'm more worried about these younger guys hopping on steroids because they look up to someone like Sam. But again, he doesn't even like, he doesn't promote steroid uses at all, so I respect him for that. But it's like these kids will see him being young, really successful, and also looking extremely swole, obviously on gear, and then they might be more tempted to like hop on gear themselves to be like the role model that they look up to. Well, I know I said before that that clip right there that I just showed you is going to be the downfall of Andrew Eubanks, but I kind of agree with him. Um, I don't think he's saying anything like bashing Sam Solik. I just believe he's saying that most of Sam Solik's followers, just like Andrew Eubanks' followers, are younger. And they look at Sam, 21 years old, jacked up physique, crazy work ethic, but we know his diet is something else to be desired. I think they, he's worried about them looking at Sam and thinking, oh, I could be like that at 21. I may, I may lose followers for this, and people may hate me for this, but I will tell you right now, um, I don't believe Sam Solik is natty, and there's nothing wrong with that. I myself did gear for years, um, and I have nothing against someone on gear. And like Andrew said, Sam doesn't promote it in his videos, and I really respect that about him, but... When it comes to people hating on Andrew Eubanks and saying, you know, he's jealous of Sam, he may be, but I really think all Andrew Eubanks was saying was that he's worried about the younger generation hopping on steroids because they think they can look at Sam at 21. Um, so I have to agree with what Andrew said. Um, like the video, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and share your comments below. I'm interested to find out what everybody else thinks.